Hello, demon, demonettes, and other hell spawns. Welcome to a re recording because I'm gonna play my favorite game again of Kudelka. Now, uh, a few things quickly. I am gonna uh, set up a timer. Well, more stopwatch. No, timer. Timer of 30 minutes ish. But that's more for me than for everyone else. So don't worry about it. We are gonna play a new game of Kudelka and we're gonna save over the old game. Um, a few things, I will talk over all the cutscenes just because of uh, music reasons. I do not want to get uh, ID claimed for any music that's been used. So yeah, let's begin. For those who have seen my old playthrough, that is still up. Uh, there are a few moments that I will be um, not talking over the videos and stuff like that. Um, that is because I want to show the videos, I want to show my favorite game, stuff like that. I love this game. And with I love this game, trust me, I have, uh, with two or three years, not, I have played it every single year since I have the official copy. A quick note, this is emulated. Don't ask any other questions. Uh, I do own the official game. I have it literally standing next to me. I have the box literally in my hand even. Although I prefer to play it on the PlayStation on my screen, I don't have any recording software. Even, uh, even, not even. Um, so the first time I played through, I was quite drunk seems like I said. Now I'll talk over it and just give my thoughts about the game. Keep in mind I will talk spoilers which I did not or at least try to avoid during my first playthrough. I will also be grinding a lot of my characters and items because um, I want to have a maximum level team for a change. So yes, um, I am playing this, like I said, uh, on an emulator. I won't go in any other details of it. Hi Edward. Wait, that was Edward, right? Let's grab the booklet with it. <laughs> no, I'm not dead, Angel. Too early, Angel. I'm not dead yet. Yes, Edward. Edward, Kudelka, say hello to each other. Not yet. We have to but find like James at the moment. Soon. Maybe. I Job will not be using well, a walkthrough. Unfinished business first. And we're just gonna have some fun yes, around. Sir. What can you possibly accomplish in your condition? You can't even hold your gun steady. Oh, yeah. No one unless I try. That thing's not gonna die unless I shoot it two or three times. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that hurts. Damn it. Here, use this. So it's a six year. Really, airplanes? You're gonna fly over me now. Oh, my favorite number of the whole freaking game, Waterfall. So, I know how the games work, but quick recap for everyone. Actions, self-explanatory, attack actions, magic actions, item actions, and weapon actions. Yes, you can change weapons mid-combat. Magic all types of magic that you have attack you attack with your given weapon movement is the movement spaces you can take wait you wait your turn out status you can always check your status if you want to so you can also zoom in and out change the battlefields I want to test something. 
So that is escape, that is cancel. Okay. Attack. And we shoot. If you do no actions or little actions, like you don't action or move, your turn comes up faster. If you only do action, your turn comes faster. But if you use action and move, you have to wait a bit longer. Oh, by the way, that also counts for if you only move. Um, this fight takes about three shots of the gun if you are lucky. It is a 1v1 fight, so it's always up and down. You can be lucky and have two turns in a row. But I have, I have got that rarely. Also, um, as you can see, I can't move any further than his line. So you are bound by a line. I am going to take some distance because it's a four shot this time. Still in that range, doesn't matter. Yeah, like I said, I have seen it rarely that be a four shot. It is rare, but it does happen like you've seen because this it was my fourth shot, yes. No. End screen. Items you get, you learn a spell. Later in the game, there are certain points that you learn certain spells. Always good. I just pull all the items. Um, there is, that is B then, okay. Uh, I can use heal myself, cast MP, and stuff like that. So, I went to status screen. A, f a quick, this is your inventory menu, yada, yada, yada. You know, drill, okay, so heal, heal, heal yourself and your party. Status screen, you can check your status. Magic levels, because your skills can level up. Weapon levels, the more you use it, the better you are. And stats. Strength, fit, dex, agility, they all have their, um, how, uh, here. Action points, abilities, uh, explanation, strength is attack, fit is defense, dex is uh, accuracy, and speed, by the way. It also makes sure you go faster. Agility, movement. Um, magic part is int, pi, and mind. Power, resistance, and ability. The higher you pi, the more resistant to magic you are. But have you, if you have a way higher int and a low pi, you have no resistance but a strong attack. So you have to balance it out. And those are the two different. Oh, by the way, uh, I said speed is dex. No, that is agility. That just means when your turn is. So the more agility, the, fast, uh, the faster your turn is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then question mark and look. It does something. We don't know what, but it does something. Experience, like you can see, I have 20, uh, 62 experience from the 100, so a few more experience points, and I'm level 2. I have the gun equipped, it, no uh, armor, and no accessories. Equipment here, you can change your equipment in this moment. Um, I prefer her to have her knife actually out. Items, weapons, if I want, I can examine it. An SA pistol first issued in 1874. It is a single action revolver, so much used in the American West. I can rename the item if I want to. Uh, cancel, I can discard it if I don't need it. The same you can do with Knives with everything you can, an ordinary knife with the decorated handle, uh, intended to use by ladies for protection. Tools, cheese, cheese is a healing item, um, if you examine it, cheese, homemade, hard cheese, hard cheese, fermented with and pasteurized, restores some HP. I have no idea how much HP it will do, but it will give you. But map, formation, you have uh, 
three spaces to work with. This is Kudelka piece. Later on, you will get the Edward and James piece. Um, read when you find certain other items and configuration uh, of stereo. And here you can just edit everything. So, uh, the game is not tank controls, just so that everyone knows. Hi, Edward. We're gonna have some conversation. Hey, what about him? He's dead. Really? Thank you. <clears throat> so I guess my time is up. Hey, Angel. I'm not gonna ask you to take me to heaven. But will you pray for me at least? Are you out of your mind? There's no bloody way I'm going to pray for you. But I guess I owe you because you saved me too. Payback time. I love he thinks she is an angel. I'll keep it down. Keep it down. Oh, I love this game. Oh, so much memories. <sighs> I remember the first time playing it. <laughs> okay. It's been a while. Let's go. And I'm not meaning on the stream Stand or recording. Stand up or I'll leave you here. What happened? It doesn't, doesn't hurt anymore. I'm cured. Yeah. I'm cured. And I, so I so cured, cured you. So what? so what? You? I love her. You cured me. But, but I was almost dead. I'm confused. So... You really are an angel? Don't be foolish. <laughs> Do you really think that there are angels on Earth? I'm no angel. I'm just a medium with a little curing. I'm I'm Edward J. Plunkett. I, I know I look pretty shady. You are. But you don't look too wholesome yourself. I... No, I'm not like you. And this is no place for people like How you. Why did you for? come here? I heard a rumor. A rumor? I heard something in London. That the son of some rich family bought an old monastery. Spent a ton of money to convert it into a house. Mm. I heard he brought quite a lot of harlots here. <clears throat> Seems like he was having a great time. So, where is this monastery? That's what I want to know. I came all this way to put a poor man's fear of God into this rich bastard. So far, I haven't found anything. Then this monster attacked me. I, I almost got killed. If you come any later, no doubt I'd be singing hymns in his stomach right now. You shouldn't have bought such a good horse. She's too fast. Too bad you won't be hearing me sing those hymns. When I was a boy, I was a pretty good soprano. If you don't Shut stop up. talking, I'll leave you here. Yes, please, do. Ugh. No, wait, My don't. Name is Sorry. And I'm only going to say this once, so don't forget. If you want to get out of here alive, I suggest you stick very close. Got it? Charmed, I'm sure. Ew. I don't know which ending I'm gonna take because I know there are three endings. So let's get our asses moving. Oh, yeah. First of all, use the right controls, not the wrong ones. I need to make sure that I. No. Okay. Um, this is a temporary save point. You will find them all over. I am quickly going to write it down. The save P B Ton. Okay. Temporary saves are literally what they say. They are temporarily. Over right. Okay. So that means that they uh, can only be hold once. 
Say hello to Edward. <laughs> By the way, the reason I am going to Edward now is because I want him in front of Kudelka. And I want to have him barehanded, correct? I'm gonna make a brawler out of him. So, um... He can't heal much, but... Come on, grab the item. Potion, some red wine. No, yes, maybe. Roaches! <sighs> so, we are gonna fight him. Now, as I said, I am gonna make him a brawler. So he needs a lot of... Uh, yeah, he needs a lot of uh, uh, training now. So, with each time you uh, hit, you get some experience. So, if I go to status now... Uh, there, has, there was a way that you can check, but I don't know. So, he started at zero for his fists. After this fight, he will have done some attacks with his fist. So, one part, I keep them um, away from Kudelka. By doing that, I put um, Edward in front of Kudelka, so that if he get knocked back, he will not go too far. One second. I had to cough. Uh, so I have to be careful because he is poisoned. I can use healing items. I could change his weapon at this point. Oh, that was not intended. Because Kudelka, the spell will fail now. And if I remember, it will cost that same uh, amount of uh, healing. Uh, MP. Kudelka will be now leveling up. If I remember correctly. Yes. So. Um. Which button was it? Oh yeah, here. Strength. This attribute determines how much damage a character does in combat, no matter how high the character's strength is. It doesn't mean anything unless the character can hit his or her opponent. While raising the character's strength is important, remember to keep it balanced between the character's strength and dexterity. Kudelka will not be getting strength. Vitality simply explains that this will increase maximum HP. Dexterity, as it was said during its, its strength, is meant to be able to hit their opponent. And agility is literally, this attribute determines a character's speed. A character with a high agility will be able to perform multiple action to an opponent's one. It goes without saying it has uh, that having a higher speed can make the difference between life and death for a character. Int intelligence. Uh, this attribute determines how powerful uh, both an attack and healing magic are. In combination with mind, let's check mind, this is like the dexterity of attack. Pi is the resistance of uh, magic. The problem is, even ally magic will be resisted. So, the higher the resistance, the less healing they will get. Even an ally here, um, willing to be resistant. Even an ally's healing magic. So, it is quite dangerous to have a high pi character in and stuff like that. 
So it says up there, um, R2 is an AP explanation. L2 as well. <laughs> so this is uh, the, what, the way I usually do this is one is actually just one, one, uh, one. Luck has some additional determination in certain uh, points. Ammo rounds, antidotes, okay, get it. Now, if we go to our nice little status, we're gonna quickly go to Kudalka's status screen. She has a 30 in heal because I've used it once, and she has a 40 in flare because I've used that twice now. But she has no other experience in weapons. Oh yeah, I can also use these, you know? This one. He has 160 in his melee, but nothing in his heal or magic. In his magics. Well, 30 in his heal because I used it as a joke once. And you can also change like this. The plus 6 or plus 5 or minus, if you can see that at one point, determines how much you get from a certain equipment. And the normal knife gives me a plus 6 on strength, a plus 5 on dexterity, and a plus 4 on my agility. Well, the gun, and that's why I'm keeping him actually um, not using uh, any weapons at this point. If I go here, green means up, red means down. So that is why I do that. Uh, heal, Edward, boom, in, a, in one time full. I will be using my magic sparingly. It's just to give a little explanation and a little, uh, a little show of it. Now, as I said, I will not be using a walkthrough, so it could happen that I will be stuck a tiny bit at some points. And that is just because it has been a while since I have played it without a walkthrough. And I just want that feeling back of having a without walkthrough. The only two reasons I came up here is not even the fight. Because grinding, I will do um, uh, outside the recordings. <coughs> I said sparingly, I actually meant uh, liberally. Like, I will use it a lot. So I'll just punch it. <coughs> also, you can uh, oh yeah, to get a level in your um, weapon or spell, you need 999 experience. Well, actually a thousand, but everything above a thousand means it levels up. If you have a level three uh, ability. You can actually have a multiple strike with it. So, for me, I'm a little bit in a dilemma because Edward is paralyzed, so that means he can do jack nothing. Now, you could say, why don't you run? Well, why should I run? Paralyzed and silent. That does not matter that Edward is silent. I am more concerned that he is paralyzed. Uh, especially since I am out of... So I have to get closer now with Kudelka, which I am so not happy about. But item. Jeez. Just gonna quickly heal him. Using cheese. 250. Ooh, that is a lot. All he has to do is keep standing. So, Edward is paralyzed, as you remember. 
Adelka has no magic, so now she has to go uh, close quarter combat. I prefer to, uh, not to do that. Since Kudelka ha is a glass cannon in this case. She can go down really fast if I do not pay attention. And as you can see, the enemy intel does actually acknowledge that she is uh, the weakest of the set. Now, the advantage is, if Kudelka is at the front, they will target her over all the other characters, over Edward in this case. Which is the advantage for Edward, because now he could, uh, now he could attack. In case of Edward... Uh, nope. Well, actually... This change per uh, level up. The first level up, like 1 to 2, so where I'm now, it is... Strength, Fit, Dex, Agility. The second level up will be Strength, Dex, Agility, Luck. Roma Nuts. So, what I'm now gonna grab is the map. Monastery map, pick it up, yes. There is a reason I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm also gonna show why. Because one, I do not need it, but it will be useful for me. It... <coughs> I'm sorry. Talking a lot. So, floor three, this is where I am. Everywhere where you see a X or a check mark, that means I have been there. So, I'm now at floor three. Going back to floor two. And since this is made in the American style, um, for me, F1, or 1F, floor 1, is uh, ground level. So, I usually get confused, so I always think, oh, there's a level down, but that's immediately to basement. So, when I say ground level, I mean uh, floor 1. And, yeah, floor 2 will be floor 1, and floor 3 will be floor 2, but... That is just how my brain is configured. So, since Edward leveled up, he's gonna heal Kudelka. This, because I am trying to slowly also he uh, level up his healing. And I'm also always gonna keep an eye on every experience point that I have. Um, Usually my first two episodes in games are usually a bit longer for the sole reason I always forget to actually pay attention to the timer. Also, if you walk, Van Dirk, take it. If you walk, there is a minute less chance of getting encounters. Uh, there is a reason I am gonna check up. It is a normal Dirk. I am It's not a problem, but I'm not really happy about it as well Also, as you noticed Kudelka was looking at the painting that means there is an item there Now, I have a small problem at this moment. Okay, I am gonna run immediately. This dude is strong and, da and dangerous. Also, agility also works with uh, running away. That is one of the most dangerous fights you can have in the in the beginning of the game. That is one dangerous fight. Um, the reason I also needed to run is um, I'm out of magic, and usually I will use the uh, no. I will use a gun then. 
Use Kudelka Reload. Let's go into a video. There's an old an old couple in the room. Ogden and Bessie Hartman. Who says they are the caretaker of the Neming Nementon Nementon Monastery. How unusual that you two have decided to come to our rural district. There's really nothing interesting here. It has gotten so cold outside. We weren't expecting any visitors. The soup is all we have. Please, have as much as you want. Oh, yes, please. Thanks. It smells great. Wouldn't you like some, dear? Don't you like potato soup? No. It's not that. I'm all right for now. Thank you for your hospitality, though. <laughs> no trouble at all. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. We are the only ones who live here, and it's so rare that we get any visitors. So are you two really the only ones who live here? Why do you ask? Well, it was pretty foggy, so I couldn't tell for sure. But this building looked like an old church or something. It seems a little big just for the two of you. You're right. In the ninth century, a saint from Ireland named Daniel Scotius built a place of worship here to appease monsters and evil spirits. That was how the Nemeton Monastery started. Or so I heard. Monsters. Is that right? Yes. What about them? You might not believe this, but we saw a monster on our way here. Is that so? You saw it too. You mean... That monster's been around for a while? Well, we've been taking care of the monastery for a number of years. But from about six months ago, monsters have been appearing. We see them more and more every month. And I used to be a sailor. I'm not afraid of any monsters. Oh, dear. What if something terrible happens to you? We almost got killed back there. Now we're out of bullets. That's not good. The monsters might try and attack you again. I'll spare you some bullets. Run Thanks. out of bullets. One. We have one Looking bullet left. Two. Others. We found about it's forty so bullets. So, have you Three. been together long? We almost yes. died out there. It was Quite a really a voice phone game. Now, <laughs> Sorry, I was coughing a lot and drinking something. That's his daily routine. But back in the old days. Thanks, Ogden. I owe you one. So, we got some bullets, and if I'm correct, we got healed. <coughs> no, we did not get it. Ooh, this is gonna be a small little problem. And with small, I mean, eh, not that big. So, now we go to this room. Oh, yeah. Other button. I love this. Now this would make good rations. Let's take some with us. I can't believe it. Yes. Are you You're still, still hungry? hungry? <laughs> oh. I didn't have anything to eat or drink for three days. Of course I'm hungry. How are you still alive? Speaking of which, you wasted all of that food. What's wrong with you? Yeah, if it weren't poison, then I would have had some. You what? Pardon? <laughs> I said... If the soup, soup weren't poisoned, poisoned, then I, I would have had, had some. No, love her act. Got it? Attitude on it. Poison. <coughs> no way. Just a little bit. I smelled some poisonous plant. What's that? Oh. oh, I can tell you how you're going to feel. In about half an hour, you won't be able to move your body. If you don't find an antidote, you'll definitely die. So they really were trying to kill us. But why? No Don't shit, know. Sherlock. But it seems they're quite used to doing it this way. <laughs> they must be hiding something. Listen, Edward. I'm going to try to cure you now. 
But you have to promise that when I do, you won't get mad and rush back to that couple right away. It's safer if we pretend we're dead and continue exploring this building. I think we'll find something interesting for sure. Please let it be something good and a normal knife. Dang it. Pardon me. Um, the reason I walk slowly is, again, like I said, trying to avoid as much combat as possible. Loaded. Does it have a maximum range? I got there. Apparently it does. Try to fight uh, weak monsters to level up in the beginning. Okay, please. I need this because I need that cheese. And I am really gonna use the cheese. Oh. Wrong buttons. <laughs> Items. Uh, tools use Kadelka items tools use uh, Edward uh, if I remember correctly I need to go um, here for an I for a few items Benaka, Benake, I don't actually know how it is pronounced. But this item, if we are gonna check it, examine, uh, cures poison, paralysis, silence, and other abnormal status. Uh, fully restores health and M uh, MP, HP. I am quickly checking up if I can find. Uh, no, we have no, uh, oh. uh, use Kudelka, I want her to be fully loaded. There's a light coming from below, there must be a room underground. <coughs> so if they level up, they are fully restored and stuff like that. Um, this is ghost type thing. Move uh, one to the front. No. 
Oh yeah, you, once you moved, the remove action is actually uh, sealed and you can't move back. Certain games you can move back, but this game you can't. It's not a lot of damage, they have a high uh, resistance action. I'm gonna stay behind Edward so that he cannot be knocked back. I can't tell why. Oh yeah, because Edward is in front of me. Perhaps that is why. Okay, Edward is in front of me, so then I can't attack. Okay, good to know. So, my goal is first to get to the first boss. Because there will be a healing slash save point open at that point. That's a water spell. Okay. So I have to keep her a bit away from that part. I will adjust that immediately as well. <coughs> By moving her a bit to the left or right of Edward. Uh, level up or... Wrong button. I'm trying to move with the um, control sticks, but... I put them on, uh, what you call it, uh, on the D-pad, just to have the feeling of the old PlayStation controllers. But I'm so for I'm so uh, used to heading towards the uh, uh, control stick. Hello, Kudelka, walk down. Thank you. Okay, Listle. Uh, that is in a uh, healing of MP. A hammer. Uh, item to. How many did I, I only got one. Oh, use Kudoka. It, it restores a lot of MP, but I want to make sure that uh, we are fully healed before we are going to uh, the fight. I've got four cheeses left. I'll keep using the cheeses. The cheese. No. A. And now we are gonna check the weapons. Because we got two weapons. And I. Oh. It's a water hammer and a normal pipe. Okay. I'm not happy about being normal. I want to run, but I pressed the wrong button for it. <laughs> okay, something is not right. This uh, thing will be in healing and a safe spot. And that's why I'll be going towards the uh, first uh, area, uh, first boss here. Uh, there's a man collapsed on the ground. It looks like he's passed out. As you try to move deeper into the herb garden, a giant plant attacks you. <coughs> so if you cast magic, you can actually get uh, quite... Uh, you can cast over a other play, uh, other uh, and, uh, character. <coughs> well, as it said, it is a plant-based character. So that's why I was saddened that it was a water spell and not... Uh, a water uh, item and not the uh, fire stone type because I would have given Edward fire. So, good part is my high resistance in magic, but I am poisoned, sadly. Plant is quite fast, and as you see, it also does a lot of damage. So yeah, again, it is weak against fire spells. I should actually walk a bit closer. So the closer you get, the more damage you will do with spells and weapons. Uh, 
Okay, he has uh basic command, he has a high defense. So uh yeah. But it's also a double edged knife if you get close, because the closer you get, the more damage they will do as well. Uh, Edward is only silenced. It is Edward's turn, so I am gonna use an item. I'm gonna use bread. So it's 254 cheese, 150 for bread. Okay. Can't use that one, sadly. So now I'm gonna move aside and just start shooting at him. And I hope that Edward does not die. Uh, no, don't move. Wait here. Edwards, 55 damage. Okay, that's good. Um, I hope he's not poisoned. If he is, okay, he is poisoned and silenced. I'm just going, trying to rush through this boss so that I have this, like I said, the save point and the. Um, So, Edward is down now. Do I have actually a item for that? I don't know. Yes! Okay. Okay, that's why I couldn't use it. So, he's fully restored now. And as you can see, the monster is quite strong. Quite a mistake by this setup. Um, I'm gonna give him a normal dirt because that is a bit stronger. Um, round. This will take her whole turn, by the way. I could have moved, but. How much? 20. Uh, uh, yeah, 29. Let's see how much damage I'm gonna do now. I did about 15 ish. Okay, so. Stronger one then. I'm gonna take a gamble by this. Okay, so. 140. I'm gonna move one back. Then he has to use uh, a spell instead of his attack. <clears throat> Weapon, change, normal knife. Wait. So he's gonna cast his. Okay, this this is the, his poison spell. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do now is just rush him with both uh, Kudelka and uh, Edward. Also, uh, weapons has durability. Okay, so it doesn't matter for her if we use uh, the gun or another. Please go down now. Please, uh, it's gonna cost tornado. No, it's poison spell. So Kyoko's gonna go back one, and I'm gonna change her weapon back to the pistol since it does not really matter which one it is. 
It does not a lot of extremely a lot of damage but either way. So actually I'm going in for a hit, then I'm going in for a black. Also, healing each turn I have to move. consider when I'm healing or not healing. And in this case I will heal. So I'm not scared about Edward actually, because he can't have a lot of damage at the moment. But that is the least of my worries for me. Cheese. Uh, although, uh, I'm using a lot of healing items. It, also, it is also meant to keep my, uh, it uh, my item back empty. There is a maximum amount of items you can have. I just hope you will go down very soon. And nope, not yet. I'm gonna move her towards there. She is out of his range. So only he can only attack um, Edward now. Which I hope will finish it. Oh, finally. It's finished off. And we are done with this fight. So we are gonna at least level up. Which I'm happy about. Everyone will be healed. And now we are gonna do the same setup I did the other, mo the other moment. And I got a necklace. And we learned to spell Geyser. That is a water spell. Flare is a fire spell. And heal is, of course, a healing spell. Now we're going to talk to this man. Okay. Oh, my head. What happened? Oh, yes, that's right. That monster. Oh. <clears throat> Who on earth are you two? Hey, we rescued you and that's your way of saying thanks? Yeah. Little did I know that these these days were into rescuing perfect strangers. <laughs> Ew. My name is Kadelka, and this is Edward. Would you mind telling us how you ended up collapsed on this path? My name is James. James O'Flaherty. I've been searching for something, and it took me to the monastery. Little did I know that it become a breeding ground for demonic spirits. Then how did you get in here dressed like that? Through the main gate, of course. The caretakers welcome me with open arms. That husband and wife team? <laughs> and the food? Was there no poison in your food? What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? Those caretakers tried to poison and kill us. That's not funny. I find it inappropriate for she you to try to dupe an to be upstanding funny, believer don't. of the Christian faith. So nothing happened to you then? Of course not. Not until I encountered that monster. Yeah? And we're the ones who took care of that monster. Far be it from me to expect any words of gratitude from you. I see. And I can tell from your appearances that the power of your faith alone was not enough to smooth things out with that monster. And it wasn't the kind of problem that faith alone could solve. Ugh. Say hello to the Ragtag Belly uh, team mm. of dum-dums. It's broken now, but... Holy water ran from it until recently. Oh, great. Divine water. But I've Come on, distracted. I want to save. Hurry up. So in between episodes, I will be crying Almighty a God, please give me the strength to ward off these monsters. I can see that we've wasted our time here. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Kudelka. 
Just a minute. <laughs> Although I'm under the protection of the Lord, it doesn't hurt to take precautionary measures. Yeah, about that. I think that. I'll go with you. Which is actually a good thing because he can sanctify uh, areas like this to make safe points. But as I said, I will be doing some grinding in between episodes. just to be set on the safe side so over right yes and each time you talk with that thing you will be uh, healed up so everyone um, this is the first episode it's almost an hour long so hey Always good to have uh, longer videos. Like, subscribe, comments in the comment sections. Links are in the description to my Twitch, Discord, Twitch and Discord. Um, also, keep in mind, uh, if you like, subscribe, it really helps YouTubers out a lot. Comments also helps out a lot. So, but I hope to see you next time. And goodbye, everyone.